Let's take a look at the profile window. I'm going to get set up here for this next line. So under the vessels menu, whoops, let me click on profile window. And it should bring it up. Uh, it should be behind here. There it is. Let's put you up on top. Let's size you down a little bit, and then we can see what we're doing. All right, and for under setup for the profile window, we can tell it our, our axes information. For example, we got a label every five uh, with a dash and a minor ticket one and 25 and five along the top. Over here, I'm telling it to draw the high frequency and the low frequency depth. So as I go in and change my tide correction, let's set it to zero. And we got a dynamic draft correction there probably. Yep, put that at zero. They should overlap each other. I'm going to set my tide to minus two feet. Okay, away we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start line. And we have started line automatically, so we're starting to start seeing things in the profile window. So I have my red is my high frequency depth from the echo sounder. The blue is the corrected depth. I have my profile up top here. This will stay on the screen until we exit the program or until we start the next line. So at the end line, I can always pop it up, look at it, minimize it, and wait for the next line if I just want to check. That's the profile window in survey.